Hi. Today I'm gonna do yet another sprite kit game. Well, a game of game. I'm gonna do a sprite kit experiment. And I'm not gonna add physics. Just move sprites around and see a little bit how many. Bobs. Bobs move around. Let's call the project Bobs move around. And as usual, there are some spaceship um, which I can remove. Can move this to supporting files. Move this to supporting files. I'm trying. Okay. I'm actually not gonna touch the view controller either. I can move that to the supporting files. I'm only gonna touch this one. And now, since as usual, touches began, I'm gonna do nothing in this. Just gonna remove it. I can save one line. And I'm gonna cut that line out. <coughs> I'm, I'm gonna call my sprite Bobs. And, hmm, let's just create one function. Uh, add Bob. Add Bob. And it's gonna create a sprite. And not a spaceship, but a... What did I call it? I'm gonna import it into the project. Yep, that's the one. Where was I? Here, blue orb. Alright, and after it's created, I'm gonna just add it to the scene. Uh, sprite. And in it with size, I'm gonna do not much, just create a background and then nothing more. Alright, I can call this adds bob function. Self add bob. Okay, now it's very minimal, it should only display a bob and I didn't even set the location so it should be down in the corner. Yep, it's down in the corner. I'll remove this up so it can see everything like that. Now. I want to create an array of these. So I'm gonna create properties for the array. And it's non-atomic. And it's array. And I want an array of bobs. And when I add bob here, and I want a lazy instantiation, can I add a comment? It's gonna return an array star uh, bobs if underscore bobs in it and return like that star hmm now I have lazy instantiation and I'm gonna add the sprite to the bobs array Add, ah, it got to be a mutable array, if I'm going to be able to add the things to it. And then it should return a mutable too. Mutable array, and here also, uh, alloc and mutable array. Good, 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 self bob, add object, and I'm, I'm going to add a sprite. Like that. So now the array contains a reference to the sprite. And now I'm gonna try to move the sprite around a bit. And uh, I'm gonna do some sine and cosine. I can just copy it from here. Paste them over here. Okay. This translates from degrees to radians. And add x add y add how much the x and y angles should be increased each time interval. And this is the position where I put the new bobs. And I can actually do that in update. I'm gonna cut the paste so it goes a little bit faster. This. Okay, now there is some sinus, there is some cosinus here. So I'm gonna add this. Another property. Bobs time added. And it also needs lazy instantiation. 
just like that one. Bob's uh, time added, time added, time added, <laughs> and return time added, like that. Okay, and this add Bob could take the time when it's created as input. Time interval. Like that. And add that to time added. Add object. And I'm going to add that added time. So now something is not good. Yeah, I know what it is because added time is a CF time interval with is a floating point number. I need to convert that to an object and that could be done with the NS number. Uh, NS number and NS number number with float. And see if time interval is actually a float. Got to put another one in there. Put just in look at that one you can see it typed of or it's it's a double it's not a float but the double can be converted to a float now i have the sprite in the bobs array and the time when the sprite was added in the bobs time added i'm not going to send it in at all not here because i don't have the time but i have the time over here current time like that, but I'm not gonna, <laughs> this is called 60 times per second. I'm not gonna do it every time. I'm actually only gonna do it the first time. And how do I know if this first time, maybe if count is zero? If that is zero, no sprites have been added, then I know this is the first one. Okay, so now there is one, and what does this do? It loops through all sprites in the array and for each sprite, first it takes out a pointer here uh, to the sprite, calculates how many seconds has uh, passed since the creation, and then calculates an angle X and an angle Y uh, with the macros which I described earlier. Just take the start value plus the, set the time elapsed times the X add and Y add here. Space X and spec space Y, that's just uh, the space uh, where, where it can move, it, which is uh, the frame uh, width divided by 2, that's middle in X direction. Height divided by 2 is middle in Y direction, minus the width of the bob divided by 2. And this sign value is going to vary between minus 1 and plus 1. So the left half is when uh, it, this is negative and the right half is when it's positive and the same here. So now it's going to start to move around in sine and cosine patterns over the screen. Let's see if it does that. Yep, here it comes moving. But I think it's a little bit too big. Do -do 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 here. Sprite x scale uh, 0 0.7 and y scale the same is it better i think that looks better and now here i'm going to insert some code to add a new every 0 0.3 seconds here Every time it's uh, 0 0.25 seconds has passed, then this is going to be true. And if the total number of sprites is less than 70, th this is going to be true. And then just add another sprite. All right. So it should be exactly the same as before, but with many bobs added. They all start here. 30. Let's see if the... FPS, frames per second, goes below below 60. No, it's a little bit below. Okay. Now it's much below. Hmm. When I didn't record, I could do 70. But now I, it's, it started to lag around 50, 60 somewhere. Okay. I wonder what it's going to do on a real device. Let's just stop that and... Uh, 
decrease this to 50 and see if it stays at if it stays at 60 frames per second. It's already below 60. Oh, okay, it's just on 40, 50. Yeah, 50 is okay. So I think this is this screencast recording which slows it down a little bit, takes some resources. Hmm. So the question is how many you can do on a real phone. I really don't know, but I'm, I know I'm going to set the background color to black. See how it looks. Run again. Ah, oh, that looks better. I would like more than 50 bobs. Ah, oh, this goes a little bit sluggish. It's the screen recording. Quick time it slows it down a bit. Yeah, but you get the idea. With this technique you can experiment, see how many sprites you can put up on the screen at the same time. Because the ninety percent, ninety nine percent maybe of, of 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 the time goes into drawing sprites here. It only does some sine and cosine calculations, otherwise it's everything is drawing here. So this is like a performance test for SpriteKit. Yeah. 